That was pretty wild. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of been tagged as our signature song and uh, on this gorgeous beautiful day what better time to play it it's called oh the sweet smell of sin dripping through the pine
booth are you going to next? Well, I think the Fall Fair booth. I'm, just gonna, I'm going to the beer tent after this. Uh -huh. Maybe I'll join you. Yeah. Could I have one of those things yeah, yes. so I don't jiggle all over the place? Are you having hey, a documentary day? Yes. <laughs> Do you mind being recorded, John? A Day in the Life. A Day in the Life. Uh, Andrew Lewis. You know, Andrew, the, so, you so is this politically correct coffee? Absolutely. It's fabulous, and it's green in many ways. The fact that we pay, or pay a fair price so that farmers don't have to use pesticides or cut down the forest. Uh, shade grown? That's right, protecting habitat and also paying people a fair wage and it's organic? for what they have. Oh, and then the, the, uh, and the profits from the sales go back to the community. So not only do they get the money, the fair price for the beans, but then the profits go back to then select projects in the community, such as um, bettering the water system, uh, schools, uh, small loans for women in business. Yes. Excellent. I can drink my coffee with a safe conscience. Okay. Strass Bay Step comes from only one place in the world, and that's the Strass Bay River area, which I've just come back from in Scotland, in northern Scotland. What a relief. I thought he was going to try and teach you the steps while he's here. No, I'm not going to teach you the steps while I'm Good. Playing. One thing at a time here. Okay, the Mabu Coal Mine. Mabu Coal Mine, Strass Bay. And then Paddy on the Railway. Jonathan learned at the knees of his father. Is that right? Or am I lying? No, that's right. And uh, it's the title track of our new CD, which was produced locally by Jack and Lefty's Media Services, and we'd really like to thank Dan and Janine for the excellent job they did. So if you're wanting to take us home with you, you can for just $20. And the uh, CDs are for sale up there by the sound guy. By the way, we'd really like to thank the sound guys, Gord and Don. They're doing a fabulous job. Thank you. So we're going to do a waltz now called Come by the Hills. And it goes into a little jig at the end called the, yeah, called the Munster Buttermilk. And um, Gord, we need lots of volume on Bob's guitar. Not so much on Jonathan's. Come by the hills to the lands where fancy is free. Stand where the peaks meet the sky and the lost speaks the sea. Where the rivers run clear and the bracken is gold in the sun And the cares of tomorrow must wait till this day is done
Celtic band, homegrown Salt Spring talent. Thank you. 
to rock and roll. Hey! Here it comes.
All right, here we are at the 2005 Fall Fair here on Salt Spring Island, Ganges at the uh, Farmers Institute here. And uh, we're going to be walking around and uh, talking to some people, get some impressions, get some reactions, and hopefully get a few laughs too. Why are you doing dishes here at the Fall Fair? You're supposed to be having a good time. We are having a good time and I'm in lack of washing dishes at home, so I do it here. I got my share for the year. It's, it's your dishwashing fix of, then that is? Okay, and your name is? My name is Ghislain. Ghislain, and obviously you, don't, uh, you weren't born on Salt Spring Island. Where exactly were you born? I was born in Algeria. In Algeria. Let's walk around. Thank you so much, Ghislain. Here's another victim, I mean another person to interview here, and come over here, sir. And your name is? Bevan. Bevan. Bevan Raitt. Bevan Raitt. And how many fall fairs have you been to now? Fifteen. And how many times have you done dishes at the fall fair? Fifteen. Fifteen times. Fifteen times. And uh, like, is there, have you got a problem? Is there like, is there, is this a medical condition? It, yeah, it is. It's a, it's a need to keep one hand wet and the other hand dry. It's a... It's sort of like a mantra. You, you've heard the sound of one hand washing. One hand washing. That's, That's right. The there you go. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're very diverse group, but we have to kind of try and cover all the bases here. What, what exactly is your favorite moment at the fall fair? I think when the pie ladies discover they've got too many pies uh -huh. to sell at the end of the, near the end of the day. And we get a lot of gifts here when we do this work. And, yeah. what, and what is your favorite pie? I like uh, anything with blueberries or blackberries or lemon in it. Or I like cre the cream pies too. I like a lot of those. He, he pretty much likes pies, period. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Bevan. Here we are at the Fall Fair, and we're speaking with. It's me. Hi. It's me. Hi. Otherwise known as Sally Sunshine. And Sally, how many Fall Fairs is this now for you? Oh my goodness. In the last twenty some odd years, I think there's been a few. A few in 20 years. Yeah, in and more than 20 years, right from when they were at the high school. Yeah. And, wh and why do you come here? Why do I come to the Fall Fair? Because there are so many magical, wonderful, beautiful people here, and because it's so much fun, and because there's alpacas. you got to go check out the alpacas. Alpacas, four-legged alpacas? Yes, four-legged alpacas, and watch their expressions. Okay. And just the children, like watching all the kids playing, and just the joy and the celebration that everybody has when they come. It's fun. Sounds like a good reason to me. Yeah. And we're going to go enjoy it too. Okay? So that's is Sally Sunshine at the 2005, 2005, I can't say that, Fall Fair. Thank you so much. Okay, here I am with uh, here I am with a uh, typical Salt Spring Islander, um, and uh, we're just going to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind, sir. Um, sir, uh, why is it that you do come to the fall fair? Um, uh, sorry, I didn't get that. Can you say that one more time, please, uh, and enunciate this time? This uh, person does likes to think about things before he answers questions, and that's, that's a smart thing to do, I think. Anyway, it was so much for you to give us. It's Albert Einstein, I believe. He's contemplating relativity. Anyhow, it was so nice of you to give us this interview, and we'll, we'll be around later on, okay? And you just keep thinking about it. Thank you. Here we are, and we're talking to... Alex Bapti. Alex Bapti. And Alex, you're, uh, apparently you're doing something official here at the Fall Fair. Yeah, I'm, I'm helping out in the handicapped parking area. Okay, and uh, ha are there very many cars parked here? We're just about at capacity, Shiloh. At, at capacity, which is uh, as many as you can handle, I take it. Just about, yeah. And how many fall fairs have you done this? Uh, th this will be my first in the parking lot. First in the parking lot. They finally let you into the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> Next year, maybe they might even let you into the fair. <laughs> I could stay maybe a while longer next year. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, so uh, people come here, and they, uh, do they have to have handicap stickers to park in here? Uh, some people have good excuses, but, you know, no. Uh, there's drop-offs. People drop off handicapped people right. and then park somewhere else. But, uh, yeah, handicap Great. stickers are good. Yeah. What's your favorite? You've been here yesterday and today? Yeah. What's your favorite uh, moment that happened? Um, the last of the of the summer fashion, uh, as as it marches up and down the hill, uh, as we head into the fall and winter months, um, 
it's, it's been wonderful. <laughs> um, you mean tank tops and uh, yes, yeah. yes, I can see that. Well, you got to hang on to that till next summer, right? Yeah, yeah. It blows a long winter, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, thanks a lot, Alex. Yeah, thank and you. Thanks for doing a great job. <laughs> okay. Too, yes. Here we are. We're, this person claims not to be security, and he doesn't want to have his face on camera, which I can understand that. And uh, so. We're watching him anyway. I'd like to, but I don't know if I'm going to. No, he's not. He's doing stuff. I most likely will, yeah. Okay, your name is? Gord Ackerman. Gord Ackerman. I ate. Jay gave me some food. We're sort of like interrupting him during his uh, little talk here. And he's not on security. However, he is in charge of something. And what exactly is it you're doing here? I'm not letting people park up here. You mean, if they try to pull in here, you stop them? Yeah. And <laughs> especially your brothers? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so anybody try, you say, and does everybody listen to you? They seem to be listening, yeah. Any, any problems so far? No. None? None. What a well-behaved crowd. I know. Okay, thanks a lot, Gord. Yeah. Okay, uh, and what are your names? Paul, Bailey, Noah. Paul, Bailey, and Noah. And what are you eating, Noah? Donuts at the fall fair? Yes. Yeah. And you too? Don't tell me, you got donuts too. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And how come, is this your mom here? Yes. yes. Why is she holding all the uh, swords? Because <laughs> we're holding this. Donuts. You can only hold donuts, you can't hold donuts and swords at the same time. Yeah. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah? What was your favorite thing at the fall fair? Pretty much the slide. The, the slide. slide when you go down in the little paper slide things and you go... And what do you hit when you get to the bottom? You just get off. You get off and that's it? You go back up, you do, how many times we, did you do it? Two times. Uh, two, times. two. Two times? Was that your favorite thing too? Um, I like the animals. The animals? Any of you do any of the uh, zucchini um, races? No. No. We no? saw them, but... How big, how big was the biggest zucchini? The red pepper. The red pepper one? Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much. You're very Unfortunately, we have to talk to a fence post here. And uh, how long have you been here at this fall fair? No kidding. Since uh, 1921. That's uh, a lot of duty. And what's been your favorite moment? Being interviewed on camera. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, thank you, fence post. Here we are at the ticket booth at the fall fair 2005. And your names are? Heather. And Brian Denton and Heather Denton. Ryan and Heather Denton, and... We're not husband and wife, we're father and daughter. Father and daughter. I was going to say, who's your grandfather? Oh, but no, 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 I couldn't say that. <laughs> okay, and you how long have you been on shift here? We just started about half an hour ago. Okay, and as, have you done this before? It's oh, our 10th yes. year. 10th year? Yeah. Okay, okay, uh, as far as attendance, how does it seem this year compared to other years? Well, it's hard to say. We're normally on later in the afternoon, but it seems quite busy. On a Sunday, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. this time in the afternoon, yeah. Okay, here's an important question now. You've been here for 10 years? Well, well this is I my have. second. He's been here for Okay, 10. second year. Now, as far as I can remember, there's always been good weather, sunny weather for the fall fair. To what do you attribute that? Divine intervention. Why wouldn't it be beautiful on a weekend like this? They just know. I let her do all the talking. <laughs> yeah, you, you've taught her well. <laughs> Thank you. Know you. Garden, made sure it was sunny. Ah, there you go, year. there you go. Well, thank you so much. Okay, thank Take you. Care. Uh, do you have any last words before you start this ride? Oh, give me a bucket. <laughs> this man needs a bucket now. A barf bag. <laughs> Did you catch that? A barf bag. Okay, I think we're ready to go here. Here we go. What's your name? Keyshan. Keyshan. Is this your first time on this ride? No. You like it? Yeah. All right. Here we have this. We have a little number of short interviews here. We don't have very much time. Okay. What are your names? Hannah and Haley. Hannah and Haley? Hannah and Haley. Hannah and Haley. Yeah. Hannah, as in the tattoo? Hannah. Hannah and Haley. Yeah. Okay. Have you been on this ride before? Yeah. Lots of times. This one? Yeah. It doesn't yeah. look like a lot of fun right now. Oh, that, it's not going yet. No. Oh, I thought it was pretty slow. Okay. Well, look at these guys going.
Let's get some screams. Okay, when I say give the word, I want everybody to scream at their loudest scream, okay? Okay, let's have everybody scream for practice. Everybody scream! That was pitiful. <laughs> that was pathetic. Okay, let's try it one more time. Big scream! That's getting there now. Okay, when the ride starts, I want to hear you. Just as soon as it starts, I want the big scream. Okay, this is called uh, filler time. We're going to try and fill the time. We're waiting for the ride to start. And so it's about, uh, what do you say, about 1.30 on Sunday afternoon at the Salt Spring Fall Fair. Here we go. Scream! Scream! Are you really from the British Aerospace Technology? No, I'm not. You're not? <laughs> the machine is. Oh, really? Is this training for the British pilots? <laughs> yeah, so it's like... No, this is a, so um, a simulator for the 431 Air Demonstration Squadron, the Canadian Snowbirds. Oh, I yeah. And is this what they would feel if they were in air turbulence in their jets? This is four and a half minutes of aerobatic maneuvers over Comox on Vancouver Island. Wow! And you and are you getting lots of kids going in there? And yeah. Getting the ride? Mm -hmm. I think we should go in there. Oh, nobody's. They still got smiles on their faces when they're coming out. It can't be that bad. Let's interview somebody who came out. Hi, were you just on that? How was it? Fun. Fun. What happens when you're in there? It just goes around and circles and like. Do you get stuff? sick to your stomach? No. No, it's not that bad. No. You go upside down. Yeah. You do. Well, on a slant. Whoa, and that's fun. Yeah. How many? Are you gonna go again? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. What's your name? Victoria. Victoria. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hello. What's your name? Haley. Haley, did you just go on this uh, slide? Yeah. How many times have you gone? Once was it fun? Are you gonna go again? Yay! Oh. Hi. 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 What's your name? Josh. Josh, is that your first time down the slide? No. How many times? T twice. Twice. You gonna go again? Yeah. Is it a lot of fun? Yeah. You always go face first. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Oh my gosh! Oh look at this! Oh no! As you can see, these people are happy to see us, and uh, we're looking for some. S this, this is a gumbo wannabe. That's right. Uh, I, I, I'm looking for some secondhand gumboots. Where, where would you direct me? Right here. These are very well used. Okay, one at a time. Your names are uh, Gumboot Rael, Gumboot Tamar, Gumboot Robin, Gumboot Shearmaster. Gumboot Jackie. And you're all related through your... Gumboot. Yes, okay. I can attest that's sheep. No, not manure on my gumboots. I'm sorry. And I apologize. These are organic. Okay, and you've been gumbooting for... Uh, too long. Nine years. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe two years? Not long enough. That's pretty much runs the gumboot gamut. Okay, and, and, and because I understand you're going, to be, you're going to be performing next, is that correct? Yes, yes. Okay, now we might not be ready, so can you just give us like a quick, a quick demo? Yeah, just demo. consider this a rehearsal. Okay, we're, we're editing out the sound.
say this ground was slanted at 45 degrees this way so as you see them all sort of moving down this way well thank you so much and we'll see you on stage and we know you're going to be fantastic thank you Bye. would you mind telling me your name uh, she's a little shy here um, can I just ask you some yes or no questions okay uh, are you having a good time and uh, is there any improvements you could think of for the fall fair? Uh, okay, and uh, you're listening to the Black Velvet Band here, and uh, what's your favorite song? The Sounds of Silence. Thank you so much. Hi, Charlo. Hello, Andrew. Um, we're here we are at the Fall Fair 2005, and I have to admit that I'm a complete ignoramus. What exactly you're is the one? <laughs> if I could spell it, I'd spell it for you. Okay. What exactly is the Land Bank? The Land Bank is a non-profit society on Salt Spring and we are concerned about affordable housing on Salt Spring and the idea of the society is to start buying land, acquiring land one way or another uh, for the purposes of developing housing, and the community housing. And the contributions come from the general public? Yes, Salt Spring Islanders, helping Salt Spring Islanders, yes. And is there a goal in mind? Well, to help resolve the housing crisis on this island. Yeah, right. Uh, I, what I meant is, uh, is there any financial, is there a ceiling that we're looking for here? Well, not necessarily. This is ongoing and we'll continue to fundraise and reach out for support on the island uh, as long as the society keeps going. Okay. and, and uh, So we've only just got going here. And, so uh, you're just starting. Yeah, we're just starting and we've, we've actually bought our first property, which is on Dean Road, and that's for, uh, that's a shared rental house. And that's all the people there at the moment are, are renting for about 330 a month, and they're all work downtown Ganges, and which is well below the going rate. Oh right? well, the going rate is can start anywhere from 850 up to 1600 at the moment a month on Salisbury. Sounds like a great idea. And uh, how are you trying to get the message out? Uh, many ways. We, we're approaching individuals. We're reaching out to the business community who have been really helpful for us in starting off the land bank. And uh, here at the Fall Fair, this is the way we can reach out to people. And if people want to make contributions, where can they take their money or send their money? They can send the money to the Salt Spring Island Land Bank, which the mailing address is 1115 Beaver Point Road. Or they could email myself, alewis at island.net. Is there any, any place, like any of the banks or any of the uh, credit unions, in any place where any, is there an account that people can deposit into? Absolutely. We have an account at the, uh, uh, what is it, Island Savings? Yes, Island Savings, yes. Downtown, yes. I don't know the account number off by heart, but... Uh, but if they ask, they will find the right one. Yes, or look me up in the phone book, Andrew okay. Lewis. Okay. Thank you so much, Andrew. Yeah, thanks. Okay, here we, here we are with Andrew Lewis of the Green Party. And Andrew, how many times have you run for office? Twice. Twice. And the results were? Zero. Actually, I did run for office when I was a student. Did you win then? Yes. All yes. right. So you're one out of three. Yes. Okay. So the question, of course, is why do you keep doing this? Good question. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun for a start. It's a, it feels meaningful to me to be able to contribute to the community and speak out on issues which I think are fundamental and so important, not just to our community, to but to the planet we live on. And you will continue doing this for the full as, as long as you have the energy. Well, I am the nominated candidate for the next federal election, which could happen this fall or next spring. And so here I am, I'm out campaigning already for uh, an exciting 
federal election, which I think there's some uh, important issues coming up, which I think the Greens will do well to address. That's right. And even if the Greens don't win, they still bring the issues up. They have to be addressed, correct? Uh, yes, this is an opportunity for people to uh, express themselves and talk about issues which some of the other parties don't uh, bring up. And so it also forces the other parties to take a look, strong look at our policies and perhaps even adopt them. So yes, we're having an influence even without electing anybody yet. You can see the shift happening with the, with the other parties. So we, we, we have a very important role to play. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Andrew, and good luck in the, in the coming federal election. Yes. And uh, you got my vote. Thanks, Shiloh. <laughs> Is this for the uh, cow poop? Yeah, it's going fast. For 20 bucks? Yeah. All right, you, go, you want to film me? Well, Three tickets ticket. left. There Getting down to the winning ticket. <laughs> Richard, you've probably seen this $20 bill before. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, let me just talk to you. Okay, we're here at the Rotary Club, and uh, we've got apparently three tickets left for the, uh, what is the, the event called? It's called the... Muffin Madness, where the cow goes into the corral and does its business, and you win $1,300. $1,300, and it, it, all that depends on where the cow does what? Yes. <laughs> You know, Shiloh. <laughs> you don't want me to say it. <laughs> Let's not spell it out. No, but it's, it's where it you, at, you, you at home can use your imaginations. <laughs> oh, take a look. <laughs> the last ticket. And I get I get a hot muffin. Is that correct? <laughs> okay. And when exactly is the uh, is the uh, cow going to be led to its uh, to its um, finer uh, pasture? Uh, yeah. 2.30 to 3. Two, it was just coming up really close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we are at the uh, Fulford Elementary Hello. School oh, yeah, it, Love Boat. We are selling chocolate to you. Okay. By the, mm, less than a dozen. Oh, well, less than two dozen. Now, this looks like it's leftover from last year's Muffin Madness. It but is, it actually yeah. does taste good. Yeah, well, you Fiber know what? We're going to put a little sugar in it, <laughs> reform it, and off they go. Okay, well, we're going we're gonna to buy one here for posterity here, and uh, we're going to test it Only right one. here on air. Only one? Well, we'll start with one. Okay, fair enough. And uh, I'm on a, I'm on a bu budget this year. We're, we're, we're happy to help and make it work okay. for you. Okay, and your names are? Uh, Peter. Frederick. And uh, my name is Sheila. <laughs> I always thought it was. Oh, there, hey, Sheila, you got a hold. I got a wad. Okay, there's 50 wad. cents. I got a wad. There's 50 <laughs> cents. And and we're going to, uh, would you like to pick one out for me there? That looks, uh, I would, I would, you, know, that you would recommend. My choice. No, that one right there. Oh, look at that. Look at the chocolate on that. Oh. Are those noodles in there? Maybe. Chow mein noodles. Oh, no, oh, it's hay. Are, this is Asian hay. chocolate. So, yeah, so hot. Okay, uh, uh, Domine, 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 before I... Um, yeah. Can you speak and eat at the same time? I, I do it all the time, actually. Oh, that. Welcome. We were at the fall fair. I don't know where it was. And we're, um, <laughs> we're tasting um, cook, chocolate cookies here at the, um, um, they taste awfully Asian. Yes, very uh, Asian. Yes, yes. <laughs> see, see, watch what happens. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Cookie! <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a you, you don't get to eat one? I mean, question of this. Okay, the cameraman never gets any of the spoils. This okay, this tastes very good, actually. And, um, you know why? I'd say it's a combination of chocolate and noodles. Would you agree on that? I would indeed. Is there, is there like the Colonel's 12 uh, secret spices in here? Uh, it's actually not the Colonel's. He tried to buy it, but we wouldn't get, give him the patent. He couldn't get the franchise. Not yet. a chance. Not a chance. There are actually nuts in there, and if you can guess oh. what kind they are. I'm just, I'm just about ready to choke here. Have you got any... Uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, he has nut allergies. <coughs> oh, no. <laughs> <coughs> I've, I'm feeling fine. Anyway, so this That's is... That's what happens when you eat and speak at the same time. And the proceeds are going to... The Fulford Elementary School. Aren't they... Isn't that the same uh, group, uh, same sort of radical group that put out the... Uh, the, the bird, the bird poo uh, the, T-shirt. Um, the is it okay? To, are we on TV? No, the, we're the, at the fall the, These shit shirts. <laughs> yes, yes, they do, and I wear mine proudly. I must say, in fact, they're being sold right next door. And you know, I wear one of those to Victoria, and people are always 
That shirt is great. Where did you get that? I mean, you should be marketing those around the world. They're beautiful. For sure. Yeah. For sure. And, and I hear next year they're going to do one with dogs, themes of dogs, Newfoundlands and Ooh. Jack Russells. Can you imagine? No, that I don't know about, man. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, Peter and Frederick, right? Yes, that's oh. Frederick. Okay, thank you. Fred, can you get a shot of Frederick from the back there? There's His the best back. side. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Here we are at the Fall Fair with our Canada's Finest, and your name is? Constable Jeff Swan. Auxiliary Constable Dow. Uh, okay, and, and well, I've seen you other places. Yes. Okay, and uh, you are in your regalia because uh, it's Fall Fair, obviously. I'm here just because you're here. <laughs> Protect me. Protect you. Okay, I feel safe. And you? Is this your official uh, auxiliary? This is our official dress uniform. Dress uniform. And this is your official dress uniform. Yes, that's correct. Okay, and uh, is this your first fall fair? No, it's my uh, second fall fair, actually. And Constable Dow? Uh, this is my third, but the RCMP. But, but you've been here many times Many, before. many times. Okay. Well, thank you so much, and uh, enjoy yourselves, and uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It, what, an what kind of animal is it? Chicken? A white That's a chicken? Feather toad. Oh no, that's a chicken. That's a chicken. I gotta film this. Okay, I'm gonna interview. Okay, James, have you got? Have you got? Start off on the. Um, Start off on the guy. On the guy. Okay, I got him. Okay, and your name is David. David, and your animal that you've got here is a white silky bantam. A white silky bantam, and that is—is is that like a kind of a dog? No, it's a kind of chicken. A chicken? That's a chicken? Yeah. That lay, does it actually lay eggs? Yep. Yeah, it lays eggs. It lays like maybe a two, three, thir three quarters of the size of a normal egg. Oh, so and a they're bit smaller. And they're they're bantams, which means they're small chickens. Yeah. And what does what does a male? What does a rooster look like? Uh, it looks like this, except a bit uglier. It's uglier than that. Yes. Is that possible? Yes. No, actually, what's 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 her name? Um, I think. Precious or Duchess, I can't remember. Precious he, or Duchess? Could they look the same? No, she looks she looks very beautiful. Yes. I just would not not have been able to tell. It looked like like the back end of some animal, but it's not. It's actually a chicken. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Welcome. Have you already entered her in a competition? Yep. Uh, How'd you do? Okay, I've done better at other fairs, but yeah, I did okay for the for some parts. You got a ribbon? Yep. Yay! Okay, thank you. Welcome. Okay, and your name is. Sikura. Sikura. And you are a, what kind of animal are you? Japanese domestic quail. A Japanese domestic quail. And have you been, is this your first fall fair? Um, well, no, I've gone to the Sandwich Fair, the uh, Coombs Fair, and the Nanaimo Fair. Oh, and uh, how did you do at those other fairs? Oh, we did, well, yeah, I did pretty well. I got some ribbons for care and condition. And at this fair, um, we won show and chip because I would pose. Oh, you pose. Oh, yeah, you're really in incredible. And and do you ever bite handlers? No, no, I am very kind. I only I only bite my siblings. Your siblings? Okay. Are you top of the pecking order? Yes, yes, I am the boss. Okay, well, thank you so much. Uh, and your name again is? Sikura. Sikura, as in Sikura? Well, um, there's we are Japanese domestic quail, so um, that is the name of a Japanese character. Um, in a Japanese show. In a, in a cartoon? Yes. Okay, well great, thank you so much. Thank you. Sikura. I understand you are uh, also known as a poodle with wings, is that correct? Kinda. And uh, how did you get this way? Do you have to, do you give her a special haircut? Nope. I mean her feathers grow that way naturally? Yep. And where whereabouts does this breed come from? Uh, China and the Japan. China and Japan, this is kind of like the Japanese section of the fall fair right here. We got Japanese quail. We got Chinese silkies. Sil silkies. Can, I'm just gonna touch her feathers just to see. Ooh, reminds me of a pillow. Okay, well, thank you so much, they Precious. Don't, they don't have feathers, do they? Uh, Perfect. yeah, they have feathers, like right here. But these are all feathers. They're just like the wick, the middle part of the feathers stops halfway, and it just breaks off. Into little fluffy so you don't have to, they, they can't fly. There's no way they can fly. There's no way. Okay, well, good luck. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We're looking for the cow. Or is it a bull? <laughs> it's a bull cow. <laughs>
It's got both sexes in one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, some people say, say bull, yeah. <laughs> We're looking for it. We want to interview the cow you before, want before the competition, before it starts. Oh, oh, the one that's going in there? Yeah. Um, I think that girl with the brown Swiss, is she putting that in there? I think so. The girl with the brown? What she got? Yeah, there's a brown Swiss cow with a bell on in there. That's her. That's that, her. That's the one that's going in there. I'm pretty okay. sure. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Okay, yeah. we'll go check it. Thank you. Terry. I'm going up to see the... Uh, the sheepdog thing. What time is it now? 2.30? Exactly 2 o'clock. Well, oh, I got half an hour, but it takes me half an hour to get up there. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I sold those, I sold the sheep to uh, Mike Lane, the sheepdog guy. They're, yeah. going, they're going to Ruckle Park Farm. Oh, great. But they're all pure, they're all purebred border Chevy at Ulam's, eh? Great. Now, otherwise, they'd be slaughtered. Oh, but Mike, great. Mike liked them, so he bought them. We know Mike. He's a good guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they do it. His dogs did a good job with them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, we'll good, see good see work you. he does. Yeah, yeah. See you later. This here's uh, Bessie, I think. Bessie, the uh, cow that's uh, going to be uh, doing a little work for the Rotary Club. And uh, uh, Bessie, uh, I understand you're going to be um, you're going to be doing your business uh, in you got between uh, what have you got about 350 squares to pick from and. Uh, just want to know uh, what exactly it is you got planned. How do you feel? First of all, you feel like if you feel like you got pressure on you or what? Um, she's uh, she's quiet, but she's contemplating. Uh, what we'll do is we're going to channel her answers. Okay, Bessie. Um, okay, so I understand that uh, you got a lot of pressure on you, and uh, you only get one shot at it. Are you catching that? I think you should be catching that. She's just kind of getting warmed up. But she'll be she'll be hot and heavy into action. Oh, look at that! We got. She's trying to talk. Okay. Uh, so uh, um, maybe can you get us both in the shot here? Okay, Bessie. Um, so you're going to be you got about a half an hour to go, and uh, you know I, I take it that you uh, you're you're just feeding up right now to try and get yourself into action and. Uh, you get one shot at it, and you get to, to drop your load in one little square. Have you got any uh, stra strategy or tactics in this event? Uh, you try to play it one square at a time. Yep, yep, that's a good strategy. And uh, and uh, they've, they've promised you. Do you get anything out of this, Bess? Uh-huh. As much as you can eat. Okay. Okay, Bessie, well, good luck to you, and I know you got it in you, and I know you're going to do a good job, and... Uh, We'll see you at the end of the competition. Just uh, and uh, you know, just let it all let it all flow. Okay, okay. Thanks a lot, Bess.